What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I nearly said Nagato Shippuden, which would be relevant too, I guess. I am here with my reaction to episode 454. Yesterday's one was like kind of fillerish, I guess, because it was all to do with the cat and it was a bit silly. But then towards the end, it kind of brought it back to that really dark place and it was really showing the impact that this shinobi world was having on little Itachi and the way he embraced Sasuke just kind of sent shivers up my spine and I'm freezing right now as well so now it looks like this conversation is just sending shivers up my spine and it's not for the record. It just pains me to see the amount of hurt that these people go through almost from the moment they're born. I'd say they get about maybe five or six years if that to actually be kids and enjoy themselves and make friends and, you know, be a regular person. And then they're just thrown into the politics of everybody else. And it's just a shame. And following Itachi through this, I can imagine, is going to get quite painful. But don't forget, if you want to watch the Patreon-style version of this video, to head on over to my website, suzilu.co.uk. And also, please feel free to hit me up over on my Instagram as well. All right, let's do this. You leaving? Yes, sir. I see. You were only eight when you awakened your Sharingan, so I suppose the village wants to observe your abilities. This just shows exactly how much power and influence the Sharingan holds. I want you to be aware of that. Yeah, and the troubles that are going to come with it as well, because people are scared of it. Yeah, but what his dad seems to forget is that Itachi had to go through pain to awaken that. And now he's kind of mentally messed up. I mean, you are my son. My friend died. But father... Yes, father. I will always continue to be diligent. Hmm. Exactly, he's literally crying out. He's like, my friend just died. And you're like, oh, I'm so proud. You know, you've got the sharing gun now and all of these things. Sorry, Sasuke. Some other time, okay? I apologize, Sasuke. But I need your brother for just a bit. Is that Shisui? Is this where I'm finally going to get some time with Shisui? Because obviously it speaks about him, but I've never had many flashbacks about him. My first task is to take along a Genin and secure the scroll in question. Even if this training exercise required a Genin, it didn't have to be you. Hey, don't bother telling me that now. Even if it's not a real mission, Shisui the Jonin requested me. I wouldn't be lying if I said it's a mission though, right? The first part is to find traces left by a fugitive and use them to track him. What is it with the oversized snakes just being like a regular occurrence in this world? What? <laughs> A footprint left in the moss. He doesn't miss even the slightest detail. That's what I'd expect from Shisui. So Shisui's pretty impressive as well. Those two as a team? Dangerous. Dry wood does snap like this when stepped on, but this piece is still moist. Also, there's a clean cut here that matches that tree over there. So obviously he was in a hurry to make a decoy. This is sloppy work. I mean, it's only sloppy work because you're clearly a genius. I wouldn't notice things like that. Dry underneath, but damp on top. The fugitive must have stepped on it and flipped it over. But could this be a decoy as well? Could be. At least, it's a possibility. But still, even if it's only a decoy, the moisture that's on this stone can tell us just how long ago he was here. I see. From the moisture, it hasn't been long. He may have left a trail. See? Those two as a tag team, if Shisui had been allowed to live, could you imagine how dangerous those two could have been if they worked together? Like, on the wrong side, though. They would have been two amazing allies as well. 
they make the mission seem like they're so much fun, but it's like you forget that they're eight years old and they're going through this already. Being able to confuse a pursuer affords the fugitive more options. At this rate, there's no way I can find the fugitive by myself. I need to develop better tracking skills. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to find him by yourself anyway? Not everything is about working alone, Itachi. It's actually because you're a genius, Itachi. <coughs> That's why. I bet you've never tried to understand the feelings of someone who isn't. <sighs> Having the skills to track a fugitive is important, but so is understanding how he thinks. If you can understand his mindset, Sometimes you can thwart a fugitive, even without strong skills. Oh, I get it. So, let's move on to the second part of the training exercise. Mm. Yeah, camping. But, Shisui, the handbook said that campfires are prohibited. So, is there another reason for this? Just eat, okay? Why the heck would camping be prohibited? Like... You need to eat so that you can stay at the top of your game. Plus, throughout everything I've ever watched in Naruto, Kakashi's always set up a camp. I was only concerned that there wasn't anything I was going to be able to teach you. But now? You taught me a lot today. Yeah, and that's exactly what made me happy. <laughs> so, hmm? about this campfire? Ah. Uh. It's just nice to share a meal with someone you feel at ease with. See, that's how I feel about having a cup of tea with someone. And I don't know if that's just like a really British thing or what, but sitting down with a cup of tea with someone just feels warm. I'm still too inexperienced. Why'd someone like me? I hmm? awakened the Sharingan. Oh, I see. Is that why you lied? I lied, but I told you at the start of this exercise. I think you're very good at fooling yourself, Itachi. She's we picked up on how I felt right from the beginning. I'm always happy to listen anytime you want to talk, you know. Uh oh, is that another reason why campfires are not good? Because someone might spot you. The final part is about to begin. I really like Shisui. And I'm really sad that I've not got to have a lot of time with him. Like, what an awesome, caring character he is. We're here to aid you. They're Anbu? Part of the training? No. Just put that out of your mind. Why attack a fellow Leaf Shinobi? Would you consider leaving and forgetting that you saw this? Um, for some money, maybe? We're going after those who betrayed the village. And where's the proof of this man's betrayal? What a waste of time. Let's just kill all of them. I wouldn't be attacking Itachi if I was you. What do you say? <laughs> sure, you want the intel. But for what purpose? Come on, isn't it obvious? Anyone who threatens the village must be punished. We will maintain order in the Hidden Leaf Village through our Code of Darkness. And this is what I was talking to you guys about the early episodes in regards to the Leaf Village. How, especially with Donzo and all that, they come across as a village that I would not want to be a part of. Then a traitor may have a reason behind their actions. The Hokage's wish is to investigate the situation carefully. That's one way of thinking. However, this involves the whole village. The gravity of a traitor versus the village is far too great. What would she say? <gasps> uh, he substituted himself out while we were advising him. Don't worry about it. My wire is coated with poison. Donzo's foundation. Exactly! Donzo is a piece of crap, you guys! You people are seeking to maintain order only through the power of the blade. That is not true peace! <laughs> Whoa! And I... Itachi, stay out of this. I'm Itachi Uchiha! I will fight with Shisui! Itachi... 
You think Itachi's gonna stay out of this? Although I'm not sure the Uchiha fighting the Anbu is a good thing. Ooh. So if this is how the Anbu fight, the Uchiha would dare to push their luck and defy us. We show no mercy, not even to children. And that's half the freaking problem with you guys. Go on, Shisui! The one that your little friend is fighting is a Kunoichi who's unrivaled within the Foundation. If you don't stop him quickly, he'll die. So retreat. Don't mock the Uchiha. And besides, Itachi's a genius. So Itachi at eight years old is fighting one of the best in the village. Sharingan. Oh, he's so cute! He knows exactly where they are and where they're going. Go on, Itachi! She keeps mixing it up with double and triple feints, but... I thought he was just a child, but he has the Sharingan already? Yeah, unfortunately for you, he's not the one you should be fighting. Oh! Ooh. Oh! I can see it. So this is the power of the Sharingan. Oh my goodness! He's so good! There's no right way or wrong way to fight in a battle. But that doesn't matter. I've already seen through your attacks. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> Amazing! I changed its trajectory just a bit. You cursed Uchiha! Wow! That is insane! Itachi seems to be doing fine, so I'll finish things up on my end. Come on, Shisui! Let's see what you got! Shadow clones. No, they're just after image clones. Well then. If they're just after images, I can sense the original. What? This is weird. I can't find a real one. Ooh, it's no wonder. Donzo gets absolutely raging with Shisui and Itachi after this. They obviously beat them. He wasn't knocked back, which means he has no mass. But his attack is still so strong. What's going on? My teleportation jutsu has no mass. Although, you could say that everything has mass. Huh? The Jonin observing the training exercise have noticed. So are we gonna let them live and just get on out of here then? This is... I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Earlier, if I just observed the enemy more carefully, then... Never mind that. He wants us to forget this incident ever happened. But why? His life was threatened. If this incident becomes known, it will sow the seeds of a new conflict. That's not what Lord Hokage wants. So the ones who aid peace from the shadows are also nameless. So there was fighting, but you assumed it was part of the training exercise. Is that right? Yes, sorry. They were extremely strong, and I was doing my best to protect the Genin, so I didn't see their faces. It's okay. Really, we're the ones at fault for not discovering their infiltration earlier. Yeah, that was one heck of a training exercise. But, uh, you know, they are Uchiha's after all. When you first awaken the Sharingan, sometimes there's a slight gap between the image your brain foresees and your body's reaction time. And so sometimes, when you try too hard to compensate for that slight gap, this happens. I said you're making a big deal out of nothing. Ow! Oh. Even if you're a genius, Itachi, don't overdo it, okay? That's so cute. It's nice because Itachi obviously has a new friend. You know, Itachi, you really are like a little brother to me. <sighs> and being able to take you under my wing like this makes me feel really happy. I want you to think of me as your older brother. You can depend on me for anything. Mm. Fight believing we're on the side of justice. 
But if the enemy feels the same, how do we know who's really right? You realized that today, didn't you? There's more than one side to an issue. You must consider things from various viewpoints. That's why it's so difficult when it comes to conflict in the real world as well, because everyone is on a side, and sometimes you don't really know which side is actually the best side to be on. I will never, ever betray you. You never have to worry about that. So it's come to this. She's sweet. I'm... I'm starting my new Anbu assignment today, Itachi Uchiha. I'm glad to be here. I'm going to watch over the hidden leaf from within the shadows. Oh, how it's turned! It's funny that, isn't it? How it's literally gone from you realizing how shady Donzo actually is, fighting the Ombo yourself, and then joining, becoming one of them. And then we obviously see how all of that goes down. That's the crazy thing as well. I remember when those guys turn up at Itachi's house and they accuse him of being the one that kills Shisui and then try to make it seem like it was a suicide. But when you actually think about the bond between Itachi and Shisui, that makes it even less believable from my side that Itachi would have anything to do with killing Shisui. There's just no way. This is so interesting to me that it's like, it's filling in the holes to the stories that I have. Does that make any sense? What, what the hell am I trying to say? It's filling in the gaps to the stories is what I actually meant to say. And I like it. And I'm even more sad that I don't get to spend more time with Shisui. What an awesome character he is. And he's just a name in the show more than anything. And he could have been so much more. Ah, he should have been Toby. That would have been a really cool one if it was Shisui was uh, Toby and not Obito. But, you know, I don't write it, so that's fine. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video with me. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.